Hi, this is Mohammed Sadiq. In this session, we'll learn about the new cards in Power BI. See, in the previous session, we have seen about the cards, the multi-row cards and things. So in June 2023 onwards, so Power BI, Microsoft Power BI has come out with the new cards, uh, which has uh, more rich in the visualizations. Okay, we can have multiple cards into a single panel. We can have the common for what is say the uh, what is say formatting features can be applied to all the cards in one shot, or even we also have an option of modifying it individually also. Okay, if you are using the older version of Power BI, you might be not getting this to get this particular feature. So what is that we need to do is just go to the file, go to the option and settings. Okay, and there under that just get into the options. In the options, we have this particular preview features to take this particular new features, whatever comes in the Power BI. So go to this particular preview features. In the preview features, we can see in the right bottom, we have this new card visuals. If it is unchecked, just check it and just say, okay. Okay. And first time to be implemented. Okay. You just need to uh, close the Power BI and open it so that, okay, that new features will be uh, added to your Power BI. Okay. So you just have to close the Power BI and open, then you will be able to get this. Now, the new cards look something like this. Okay, it's a single card, okay, where we have multiple values and you can see even the formatting features, the way it has been formatted. Okay, so we are able to see the profit, loss and all those particular animations, fine. Now, let us see practically how do you work with this card. So, if I have to work with this card, so here I'll just go to this particular insert visuals. In the visuals, we have the cards. And in, you can see in the cards here, we have this thing here called as a new card, card new. Okay. Uh, this wasn't there with the previous version. We had a card and the multi-row card. But from June 23 onwards, okay, we have this particular new card. I'll just select this. As soon as you select this, Okay, the what is it? The template looks very similar to your previous card. But here, what happens? You can add multiple data fields. Multiple fields can be added. So let me add it. I'll just say add. Uh, I want to add the sales. I want the total sales. Fine. So not only that, see, once you click on add, we also have an option of adding another field, which wasn't there in the previous version. I'll just hit on this. I'll say this time I want to add a profit. I say again, add. Now I want to add this, uh, what is say quantity. I say Q, U, you get it filtered out, yeah, quantity. And I also want to add a profit percentage. Yes, measure also we can add it. So I've just added this particular thing. So I'm using the same sample superstore data. And you can see uh, it has been added with this particular, all the four fields here. Now, when you have this particular thing, so you can see all the four, um, now what I say, the fields with the summary value has been added. Now you want to format this. So we just hit on this particular format. More options will take me to this particular formatting. So in the formatting, so what all the features are there? Okay. So let us analyze this particular features here. Okay. The first thing is we have a layout here. So I can have this particular, all the four, uh, what it says, the aggregated values or all the four values arranged vertically or we can have it as horizontally. By default, as horizontal. I want as one below the other, vertical. I can just go with the vertical. So we can just go to the layout and we can just set this particular thing. Or you want in the form of a grid. You can go to the grid. So you can see it is one row by five columns. What is there? I just say I want to make it as two by two. Two rows and I say two columns. So it is divided into two by two and we can resize it. Accordingly, we can just go for it. Okay, so generally used as vertical or horizontal. So the default is horizontal. So I'll just say side by side. Okay, fine. Now the next thing is what I want is um, I want to change this particular callout values. So what is that is I don't want to display this as some of sales. Instead of that, I just want to say sales, profit, quantity, and let's say this is a profit percentage. And I want to add even a, what is say image next to it. So I just want to have something like this kind of a display. So where we have this particular cards with the image and we can see the text in this center and instead of telling us sum of sales, I want as a sales profit and so on. Okay, so let us see how do we do that and slightly have modified the font also. So for doing this, so what is that we do is we'll just select this particular card and we will go to this thing called as callout. Callout is the values. Now, first thing is, okay, the value and the labels I can format. 
I'll just format the values. Okay, the values what is there. So here right now the font size is 45. I'll reduce it. I'll just make it as 24. Yeah, I'll make it as 24. So you can see it has been made 25 for all the color values. Okay, all the values have become as smaller font. I want to make it as bold. Good. You want to have a different color? Yeah, so you can do that. Okay, Chalo, I think that should be fine. And then what else we wanted? Okay, the alignment. We have a left alignment, center alignment. Okay, right alignment. So where do you want it? We can just place this also. And uh, Chalo. next is what I want is the sum of sales, sum of profit. Instead of telling a sum of sales, I want to say sales, profit, quantity, profit percentage. So what I will do is, see, um, under the same column, we have this particular label so we went to the values to change the values but i want to change this particular top portion so i have to go to the labels so now in the labels you can see text is automatic because you know automatically whatever the field names are there it is picking that but i say no i want to customize it so you can see here in the call out we have all setting to all uh, setting to series all that means it is applying for all the series i say no apply for the individual sum of sales i'll make the text as sales Okay, sum of sales is modified to sales. I'll just select the same thing, sum of profit. I'll change this to profit. And I'll just say sum of quantity. I just want this to be as quantity. And a profit percentage, I say let it be as it is. Fine. And this also let me give as a dark black. And I'll just make it as bold. Okay. And I say this is this I want to apply for all. I want this to be dark black, okay? And I want to be bold, all series. Good. I think 18 should be good enough or 16. 16, that, that should be good enough, okay? So we have this particular settings we have done. Now what I want is, uh, I want to add this particular borders. I want it to glow and I want to add the different, this one. So we can just go ahead and do those particular things. Is I just collapse this one. Um, now we have this thing called as the layouts here. Okay, so I'll just go to the layouts, and you can use the space between the horizontal and verticals. Yeah, we can just do those particular things you want in the center alignment. Okay, center. Okay, or the bottom. I'll let it keep it in the center itself. Okay. And then uh, space between the cards. You want to increase the space between the cards or you want to decrease. I think I'll go with the default one is good. Okay, five is those. I'll go with the five. Okay. Next is, I want this particular, what you see, this particular cards to be having a bit of additional formatting. So I'll just go to the cards here. We have the cards here. I'll uh, We have a shapes here. So first thing is, uh, right now the shape is a rectangle. So I want to make it as rounded rectangle. I can change it to a, as a rounded rectangle here. And you can see the rectangle has got rounded here. So I can just increase the, the count of round you wanted or decrease it. You can do that. Or we do also have this option called as snipped. Okay, uh, tab both. Okay, snipped it down. We have a snipped here. So you can see here the edges are being snipped. Okay. So, and it is in the more top. Uh, I want to have more custom. Uh, you can go to the custom style. You can see all the four top, four top corners are there. So, okay, all the corners are there. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. I say top left, I want it to be snipped. Yep. Okay, I think I'll just uh, increase this to like 25, 26. And I say bottom right. Okay, top left and the bottom right, I just want to split it. So kind of things. Okay, we can go with this kind of things. Fine. Yeah, so whichever you feel is good, you can just go for it. So there are a lot of good options and things. We can go with that. And then that is the shapes. Now, apart from this particular shapes, you want to change this particular uh, image and all these things. You just want to add it. So we can just go for the cards. Under cards, we can see we have this fill option. Fill is like, you know, you want to fill the color or something. So you can just go to that. So anyway, by default, it is filled with a white color. So I want to have, say, kind of a light gray color. 
all filled with a light gray color so we can differentiate the kind of borders and things and you want to have a background image or something so you can just add it uh, i want to have a border yeah border uh, again there but you want to have little kind of a thick borders borders with the different colors yes you can do that and um, so yeah fine we have given this now you wanted to have some kind of a glowing effect on this you can just make this yeah and uh, yeah so i just make it as glow um uh, glowing with what kind of a color i just use some kind of a golden color yeah. inside outside we can just give this okay you can see you're getting a kind of a raised effect of things okay and uh, so you want to have an image you can go for an image now when i just go to the image now what i want is i want for a sales a different image profit i want to have a different image quantity i want to have a different image okay profit percentage i want to have a different image so for that what i will do is i will just go to my apply to series are there no apply so there in the apply instead of all i'll just select one of it sum of sales and just go to the image okay and what is the image you want to have okay because you know if i'm selecting it all okay and if i email insert an image so that image is going to be applied for all the things okay if i just select this image uh, i'm selecting it all and uh, let me select the image from one of the this one i just have some images here okay yeah so just imagine like you know i just select give this particular image so you can see it is just applying on all okay i say no i don't want it to apply for all uh i'll just say remove this now what i will do here is instead of all i just select some of sales okay and then that is apply to apply say uh, apply settings to the series i'm selecting some of sales and select the image here for the sales i'll just select the image as browse and i'll just select uh, i think this card should be good fine okay and um, how it has been arranged on the right hand side okay we can do one some formatting here first thing is i'll just say fit okay it's the icon i'm just fitting it uh it is on the right hand side i want to get it on the left hand side i'll just make it as left yes i think this should be good enough and uh, slightly i'll increase the font of the size of this and so 50 i just say a 65 should be good enough yeah i think this is looking good so we can go for this then um i'll do the same thing for the other thing also i say sum of profit and in the case of sum of profit i'll just select this particular image as one of the profit image i think this should be good okay i'll select this one so fine and i can say i want the same thing i just want this to fit and i'll just make this as size is 65 and I want this to be on your left hand side. Okay, I think um, 65 is also too much. I think should be been good enough. And yeah, this one also we can reduce it. Right. And then uh, the same thing, I'll just say quantity. Uh, for the quantity again, uh, what is that? I'll just select the image. I'll select some image with re representing the quantity. I think this should be good. And how uh, you want to add it, the sizing. I say fit. And size, I'll make it as 60, should be good. And I want it to be on the left hand side, top, bottom, left, right. We can just have it. I say bottom and the text in the top. We can go for that also. Like, you know, if I say bottom, we have this in the bottom text we can put in the top so that alignment we need to do so i'll just keep it as left now okay fine and the same thing i'll just go to the profit so select the series as profit okay and for the profit i will just include the image as profit yeah profit percentage this is the profit percentage and I say I want this on the left hand side. And I want this to be as fit. 
and I'll just say instead of 60, 50, and just make it as 60. Good. Fine. I've just given those particular things. Hey, now one more thing is what I want is in the case of profit, I want to give a kind of a conditional formatting. Now, if the profit is profit can be negative and positive, you know, where the sales cannot be a negative. Okay. Profit can be positive and negative. So let us take up this particular profit percentage. If the percentage of profit is negative, I want red color. I put as positive, I want in green color. Okay. And I want to give a kind of a conditional formatting. If it is the higher of profit, the intensity of the color should be dark green. If it is a lower profit, the intensity of the green color should be lower. And when it is like, you know, what is safe, negative value, it should be red color. The more negative, that is like say minus 50%, it should be dark red, minus 2%, 3%, it should be light red color. Something like that, I just want to format it. So what I can do here is I can just apply this particular formatting for that also. Okay, so as like, you know, what you say, the formatting for this card. So I'll just go to the card here and I'll just select this particular pro profit percentage. And we have this fill color, no? I can just go to the fill color. And since I have selected the profit percentage, I want to apply, see, for all the things I have given as a gray color. But for the profit percentage, I want to fill based on the function. Okay, so I've selected the series as the profit percentage and I'll just go to the color in the color next to the color. You can see we have FX. That is, I want to fill based on the condition. So using a function, as soon as you hit on this particular FX, okay, you can see here it is going to have a gradient color for the profit percentage. And if it is high, it is dark blue, light is uh, this one. I say no. If it is high, Okay, if the profit is high, I want this in to be in the green color. I'll just select the more color. I'll just say it should be dark green color. And if it is low, okay, uh, I want this to be in the red color. I say dark red color. But what is that? See, unless until I put the value, I cannot go ahead. Since the percentage, I'll just say is um, something like 50%. Okay, and I'll say this is minus 50%. Now, mid is showing this kind of a light intensity of green color and then dark. So the, I say mid color, I want to have it as um, white color or something. Add a mid value and I'll just change this to white. And I say mid value is zero. If it is a very low percentage, it is whitish color. And if it is going towards negative, again, whitish to red color, it is going to go. So this will be something like, you know, zero. And this will be negative minus one, minus two, minus three. This is going to be positive percentages. Okay. So I think gradient fill colors should be good enough. That's 12%. So you can see that it is showing with a kind of not very dark uh, green, but it is a kind of a greenish color. So that means it's a positive. Now to see this particular cards changing dynamically. Okay. So what is that I will do is I'll try to add some slicer for this. Okay, so I'll add a slicer as, yeah, so I'll add a slicer. So we have studied about the slices in the previous sessions. We can go through that uh, in the previous videos I have about slices and filters. We can either use that. Now what I do is I'll just try to slice this based on the category. Okay, so this has a slicer with all the categories here. Now, furniture has a different percentage of profit. Okay, you can see it is whitish color. Technology. Okay, it is like, you know, 17%. Um, this is like, you know, 17%, 17.4%. And this is 2%. Yeah, 2.5%. That means low, this one. Now, okay, uh, let me add one more slicer for the geographic. So instead of having a geographic, I'll just go with the map. Okay, I'll just go to the map. I'll just say this one, shape, where it will show me all the states here. I'll just go to the location as the states. I've covered about this maps also in the previous sessions. Okay, you can just see the video over the maps. So which have discussed about this particular creating with the different types of maps and so on. So here I just want to use this one so that I can just see how the each state wise, how much of profit, how much of sales are happening and so on. Now, when you see, I'll add, let me go with this particular technology and I'll just go with um, California. You can see it has given me a profit of 18%. Washington, it has given me a profit of 29%. It is dark green. And when I just go to this New York, okay, so you can see 33%, a very good profit. I'll select the furniture there. It has given me a profit of 6%, very low profit. 
okay same in california okay so compared to the technology this is very low profit but when it comes to texas you can see what is happening the profit is minus 10000 okay and you can see the percentage is minus 17% in texas florida you can see minus 9% the same thing in california it is plus 5% new york it is like 6%. So when it is a positive profit, it is in green color. Negative profit, it is in the red color. Okay. And if the profit is increasing, okay, you can see the intensity of the color is just telling like, you know, where, what exactly is the kind of a profit we have. So we are able to dynamically get this particular effects and also the cards and so on. So we are able to do this. So this is about your new type of cards. I think when you snip it, I think the alignment has to be a little this way. So that can be done. Okay. So this is really interesting feature. So what um, Power BI has brought in. Okay. Uh, thing. Um, that is the interactive cards. Okay. Uh, that's it in this session. Thank you. Uh, if I deselect it is all. Let me clear all. Okay. Thank you.